Hi friends, I am Sunil, working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss applied physics, applied physics. Waves, acoustics, ultrasonics. Waves, acoustics, ultrasonics. First one, waves. First one, waves. Waves are nothing but vibrations of the body. Vibrations of the body which are propagated in all directions. Waves, waves are nothing but vibrations of the body which are propagated in all directions. That means, uh, these uh, waves are propagated in all directions in all directions okay waves are nothing but vibrations of the of any body which are propagated in all directions and uh, frequency of these waves or frequency of sound waves frequency of sound waves the number of vibrations made in one second is known as frequency the number of vibrations made in one second is known as frequency this frequency units are hedge hedges okay the units for this frequency are hedges and the audible the audible range for human the frequency is uh, between 20 hedges to 20000 hedges that is 20 hedges to 20 kilo hedges 20 kilo hedges okay uh, 20 hedges to 20000 hedges and that means uh, the uh, human can only hear the frequencies uh, can hear the sound waves uh, their frequencies between 20 hedges to 20000 hedges only below this 20 hedges human cannot hear above 20 hedges also the human being cannot hear okay so the below the frequency below 20 hedges are known as infrasonic the frequencies below 20 hedges are known as infrasonics and the waves the waves which frequency is greater than 20 hedges greater than 20000 hedges greater than 20000 hedges they are known as ultrasonics they are known as ultrasonics that means below 20 hedges infrasonic above 20 above 20,000 above 20,000 above 20,000 hedges are ultrasonic above 20,000 hedges are ultrasonic and these infrasonic waves produced by earthquakes earthquakes and uh, storms in sea earthquakes and storms in sea okay and next coming to ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves can be produced in the laboratory can be produced in the laboratory by piezoelectric effect and also magnetostriction methods and also magnetostriction methods so these are ultrasonic waves produced in the laboratory by piezoelectric effect and uh, also magnetostriction methods these ultrasonic waves can travel longer distances can travel longer distances without any change or change in the intensity without change in their wave intensity okay they can travel longer distances without any change in their frequency uh, without change in their intensity and uh, this ultrasonic waves can be here by bats dogs and fishes that means bats dogs fishes can hear these ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves are nothing but the frequency of the waves uh, greater than 20,000 hedges they are called ultrasonic waves they can travel longer distances and uh, the uh, bats dogs and fish can hear these ultrasonic sounds can hear ultrasonic sounds and uh, Next, coming to the properties of this ultrasonics, coming to the properties of this ultrasonics, these, uh, these uh, ultrasonic waves are high frequency sound waves. I already explained uh, these uh, ultrasonics are 
high frequency sound waves which are inaudible to human inaudible to human and these are having smaller wavelength and the wavelength that is nothing but lambda uh, these uh, ultrasonics have smaller wavelength and whenever this ultrasonic uh, travels through a medium travels through a medium then the then this ultrasonics produces heating then this uh, ultrasonic waves produces heating effect that means we produce heating effect when passes through medium when passes through medium and they can these ultrasonics can get reflected reflected and also observed by medium and also observed by medium okay and coming to the applications of this ultrasonics coming to the applications of this ultrasonics they are used to find the depth of the sea very very important ultrasonics can be used to find the depth of the sea and distance and direction of submarine distance and direction of submarine and depth of the rocks in the sea and depth of the rocks in the sea and this ultrasonics are used to detect tumors in the human body these ultrasonics are used to detect tumors in the human body and also these are used to study the heart valve action used to study heart valve action and to locate cracks and faults in metal castings and these are used to locate cracks and faults in metal castings and in the treatment of cancer and also used in the solar systems and also used to solder the aluminium and mixing of alloys uh, we, we cannot uh, soldering the aluminium by ordinary methods by using this ultrasonics we can uh, solder the aluminium we can solder the aluminium and mixing of alloys and sterilization of water and milk for sterilization of water and milk also these ultrasonics can be used okay and next one next one uh, wave motions types of wave motions there are mainly two types of wave motions first one very very important longitudinal waves second one transverse waves transverse waves longitudinal waves transverse waves first of all longitudinal waves the longitudinal in the in case of this longitudinal waves all the particles all the particles vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of wave that is it is a uh, propagation of uh, the direction of propagation of wave propagation of wave the propagation of wave is in this direction the direction of uh, this longitudinal wave also same direction that is parallel to the propagation of wave longitudinal wave direction that means uh, if all the particles vibrate pa all the particles vibrate parallel to the vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of wave then these waves are called longitudinal waves then these waves are called longitudinal waves that means the direction of longitudinal wave is parallel to the direction of propagation of wave okay in this uh, wave and that means in this uh, longitudinal waves compressions and refractions are formed compressions and refractions compressions means crowded together compressions compressions and refractions these are refractions these are compressions that means in this wave compressions and uh, refractions are formed compressions means crowded together and refractions means uh, spread out uh, spread out together spread out spread out uh, one and other, another uh, here uh, compressions means crowded together spread out means they have some distance okay and the distance between two the distance between two compressor compressions are two successive refractions is equal to wavelength the distance between two successive compressions are two successive refractions is equal to wavelength okay that means wavelength is equal to distance between two successive compressions are two successive vibration two successive refractions okay and the velocity of uh, propagation of this uh, longitudinal wave is nothing but n into lambda n is the uh, frequency lambda is wavelength lambda is wavelength 
and all the particles have same amplitude and time period in case of longitudinal waves all the particles have same amplitude and time period and examples for this longitudinal wave is sound waves example for this longitudinal wave is sound waves very 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 important sound waves are dash longitudinal waves okay and the speed of the speed or velocity speed or velocity velocity of this longitudinal wave is given by v equal to root of e by d v equal to root of e by d here he is nothing but elastic constant of medium e is nothing but elastic constant of medium and d is the density of density of medium d is the density of medium and the uh, speed of this longitudinal wave for this uh, speed the laplace corrected formula is v equal to gamma p by d v equal to gamma p by d v is nothing but velocity velocity equal to root of gamma p by d here gamma means cp by cr cp by cr that means uh, ratio of specific heat of gases ratio of specific heat of gas and uh, gamma p is uh, adiabatic adiabatic elasticity adiabatic elasticity okay and uh, once again the longitudinal waves are the all the particles are vibrate parallel to the propagation of wave and uh, uh, the distance between the two successive compressions and rarefactions is nothing but wavelength and this uh, uh, speed of this longitudinal wave is given by v equal to root f root e by d e is nothing but elastic constant d is nothing but density of the medium and the second type waves are nothing but transverse waves transverse waves uh, in this case of this transverse wave the direction all the particles vibrate if it is a direction of uh, uh, propagation of wave propagation of wave the direction of this transverse wave is perpendicular the direction of this uh, transverse waves the direction of this transverse wave is perpendicular to the perpendicular to the, to the direction of propagation of wave that means if all the particles vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave those waves are called transverse waves those waves are called transverse waves at any time at any time the arrangement of these particles resembles a sine wave this is a sine wave resembles a sine waves here the maximum points are called crest and uh, the minimum points are called throts minimum points are called throts and the difference between the two successive crest or two successive throts is equal to wavelength is equal to wavelength that is lambda is equal to wavelength and all the particles have uh, in this transverse wave all the particles have same amplitude and time period all the particles have same amplitude and time period and for the examples of this uh, uh, transverse waves are waves along a stretched stretched string and light waves light waves very very important light waves are transverse waves and sound waves are longitudinal waves okay very very important light waves are transverse waves and uh, sound waves are longitudinal waves these waves can be polarized that means transverse waves can be polarized but uh, longitudinal waves cannot polarize they are only reflected and refracted reflected and refracted but these waves can be reflected refracted and also polarized transverse waves can be reflected refracted and polarized and the velocity of transverse wave along any string is equal to root of t by m root of t by m here t is tension t is tension and m is linear density m is linear density and coming to the progression waves progression waves are nothing but all the longitudinal and transverse waves are prof uh, are progressive waves all the longitudinal and transverse waves are nothing but progressive waves if a wavelength travels continuously in a medium without any disturbance without any disturbance then that uh, wave is said to be progressive waves that means if a wave if a wave travels continuously in any medium without any disturbance then the wave is said to be progressive wave okay 
and uh, relation between wavelength frequency and velocity very very important relation between wavelength frequency and velocity is v equal to n into lambda v equal to n into lambda okay once again transverse waves the, the if all the particles uh, vibrate perpendicular to the propagation of wave then they are called transverse waves uh, these uh, transverse waves resembles a sine wave and uh, here uh, all the particles have same amplitude and time period and the examples of uh, this transverse waves are nothing but uh, light waves nothing but light waves and uh, coming to the velocity of this transverse wave is nothing but root t by m t is a tension and m is linear velocity m is linear velocity and the relation between wavelength frequency and velocity equal to v equal to n into lambda here v is velocity n is frequency l is uh, lambda is wavelength lambda is wavelength okay friends thank you in next video i will discuss remaining topics of physics okay okay thank you